All right, in this video, we're gonna be analyzing the non-slip loop knot. How many turns do we need to use for this knot? And if you're not familiar with this non-slip loop knot, this is so far my favorite knot for using artificial lures because it gives the lure the freedom of motion to, uh, to go out and maximize its action. On the drop, it drops faster. You know, we don't have the, the knot constricting the motion of the lure. Very, very important when using lures. In general, for most lures, you maximize the lure's action, you're gonna maximize the amount of strikes you get. So loop knots are important. The bad part about loop knots is that they are weaker than snug knots. So for these, we need to put to take extra, uh, extra caution and, and extra emphasis on, on maximizing the strength of these things. So we're gonna test out the two twist, the three twist, and the four twist. How many twists does it take to maximize the strength of, of this non-slip loop knot? We're gonna go do this details. The line we're gonna be using is Andy Mono. This is now my new favorite leader, and so that's gonna be the test case for this experiment. All right, so we have, we have it all assembled. We're using swivels just for safety, but it again represents a hook. And so we're going to lift this scale up and see what the breaking point is. And this is 20 pound monofilament line. That was impressive, yeah, 21. So that was, uh, that was over the breaking point, and then we can see that, that knot just basically disintegrated. So we have a flat, although the knot broke, it looks as if it was a clean break. Hopefully you can see that, maybe against that white, that white mark. Clean break, the knot just totally disappeared. It flew off somewhere, but that's impressive. So 21.59 pounds on a 20 pound line. We're gonna do two more tests. All right, so the results are in and it was a surprise. So two turn, three turn, four turn, the average for the two turn was 20.5 pounds, which is impressive. Again, 20 pound line, we're using 20 pound Andy Mono. This is my new favorite line for leader. It's all I've been using, it's been working great. 20.5 pounds, that's solid. Three turn was 21.72 pounds. So that's pretty cool to see that there was a, a step up, a noticeable step up from two turn to three turn. The surprise was on the four turn, so it went down to 19.35. So the four turn was actually worse than both the three turn and the two turn, which was a big surprise. So clearly there's some sort of issue going on when you add that extra, that extra cinch. It might, it might do some sort of, uh, of damage to the knot in, during the cinch process. Um, it was very consistent too. It wasn't like uh, there was an anomaly where there was one that was bad. Four turn was consistent. So I definitely would recommend against the four turn Although the three turn is best, I'm personally gonna keep doing the two turn knot because it just looks nicer. It, it, it uh, leaves a better, a better loop with no curves. 
And at 20.5 pounds, I'm using a 10 pound braid for my main line. And the FG, not the 10 pound braid to the, to the, uh, to the leader, is generally around the 20, 20 pound range as well. So I don't, I don't really need to increase my, my leader line, you know, my, my final knot to the lure, because the, uh, the weakest point is generally gonna be on the, on the braid, on the 10 pound braid. So that's it, I just wanted to, uh, to share the results with you, uh, the questions that have come in on, on what, how many twists to use for the, the non-slip loop knot. So three turns, based on this, three turns is the optimal. Two turns is, is definitely good. That's Again, that's what I'll be using. It looks cleaner. And then the, the four turn seems to do more harm than good with that extra, that extra scent. So hopefully you like that video. If you have any questions, leave a, a comment down below. And if you're not familiar with this knot, I'll put a link down below to a video. This is an excellent knot. It is so far the, the best loop knot that I've found for, uh, for using lures. And so again, I highly recommend it. And it looks like the, you have the option between the two turns and the three turns, and I believe you'll be happy either way. So thank you so much for your time and watching this video. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the online fishing club that'll help you catch more fish while saving money on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace all by yourself or with your family. Live salt strong and wear the line today.